Hey, what is he doing? What are you doing? Are you alright? Evers! Good evening, everybody. So, it's about. Evers! Good evening, everybody. It is about. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. It is about 7 o'clock. Um, Peter's actually on our run right now. I was first. Good evening, everybody. Um, it is about 7 o'clock at night. Um, Peter is actually on a run right now. Eve just like... Can't take it. I was actually supposed to record um, or be like a guest on Grown Up Kids podcast today um, with Megan and Katie. We've talked to them about we've talked about them before. Um, they're part of Swish and Flick, the All Potter podcast. They also have a Disney podcast where they go in and um, like analyze all of the Disney animated features. Um, so. Today we were going to record about Song of the South and um, we were also, it was going to be me, Katie, Megan, and then Rory who we worked with in Frontierland. Um, Splash Mountain is actually based off of the movie Song of the South. Um, it's like, it was going to be like more informational and interesting to kind of, because I had never seen the movie until I just watched it yesterday. Um, so we were going to record tonight about it, but Megan and Katie actually lost power, so they're not able to record. So I was going to record while Peter was on the run, but now since I'm not recording, Peter's running and I'm still in my pajamas. So we actually don't really have plans for tonight. We don't, I mean, we assumed we were going to go somewhere um, when I was done recording. So we're just kind of hanging out, me and Eve. I'm going to watch some series of unfortunate events. Um, and then I'm just going to wait for Peter to get home and then we'll decide where we're going to go. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Well, we decided on Animal Kingdom tonight. It's crazy, it's like the park that's open the latest. One of, it's, it's, it's open just as late as Magic Kingdom tonight. Right. But the thing about Animal Kingdom compared to Magic Kingdom is it's so much less of a process because the parking lot can this close to closing can show up, you can pull up like right there. Yeah, we have like presidential than, like, parking. Getting into TTC and monorails and boats and securities and resorts hopping and everything like that. Do you guys think that um, Animal Kingdom always smells like green peppers? I do. They have to be growing somewhere. Or it's just one of these plants. If you are a botanist, <laughs> let us know. Yeah. So we have a fast pass for Expedition Everest and today's mission is to get in line for Flight of Passage like 10 minutes before park close and then yeah, we saw on Facebook both of us separately yeah. saw on Facebook somebody was like yesterday I got in line 10 minutes before park close it said 85 minutes for flight of passage and they got on the ride through the videos and everything within 20 minutes yeah so, so we're keeping our fingers crossed right now. that we can do that again still the best of all we're here to share it. I'm going to link up in the corner this video that I came across today of us on our 2016 trip doing like the top five Animal Kingdom cues. Oh, in the pool, weren't <laughs> yeah. we? That no, was such a weird video. No, it was in Restaurantosaurus. Oh, that was we, still like, such a weird there video. Because it was like still at a point where we had to like stop in our vacation to like charge our batteries. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to link that you guys can watch it. This ride makes me sick. <laughs> but I still love it. When you leave the mountain and you're like, especially at nighttime, you see the whole park and you're like,
Ah, it's super crazy. Ah, ah. Oh no. Ah. Alright, so that was an awesome Everest ride. It was extra it was wild so and extra fast and it didn't make me as sick as the usual, which was great. And the photo I really liked, Sarah, it wasn't as good as this photo here. But this photo right here, which we just took, is my second favorite. I was like, what? I never do anything really funny on photos. So I was like, I'm going to pretend to get sick. And the people in front of us are actually really cute. And um, I was just like in the, in the moment. All right, only time will tell. And you will know in just a moment, because we're doing it. But this says 25 minute standby wait for safari. If our calculations are correct, it's been scientifically proven that this is a 25 minute wait, it's a 20 minute ride, a speed walk will get us, if this is truly 25 minutes, a speed walk will get us to flight of passage within five minutes of park close. They will have to let us on the standby queue until park close. So we're gonna be those guests, but hopefully we'll be the last of those guests. And we will say thank you and much obliged and appreciated to every cast member we see, right? Yes. Did you know that Kilimanjaro Safari is bigger than the Magic Kingdom? The actual Safari Safari. The actual Safari Safari. Yes, I knew that. But put a comment down below if you did it or not. The animals of Harambe are wonderfully diverse. Nature is a storm. Oh, this is great. This is the 25 minute wait. We're gonna go on the very next um, safari. Two. You're gonna be in row two? Perfect, thank you. Now, I'm sure you can tell which ride balls, that's a very large creature. Uh, the black rhino actually weighs about three to 4,000 pounds and they can charge 35 miles an hour. Okay. Uh, crocodile is a very large creature. They're about 16 feet long and they use 500 pounds on average. Now, hyenas do look like canines, but they actually belong to their own family and it's called the hyena day. And they can consume up to a third of their body mass in a single meal. Now over here off to the left hand side, those really little creatures right there are called spring box. They've got a light brown coat and those white bellies that kind of look like s'mores. And they get the name spring box because they can literally spring six feet in the air repeatedly when they get startled. And does anybody know the Swahili word for lion? Simba. Simba, there we go. Big bucks, no whammies. Okay. We're in Pandora at night, and there are definitely more people than I expected. And Navi River Journey is only 15, and we've got 20 minutes of park close. Sarah suggests we not try. I'm kind of skeptical, but I'm also nervous that our hypothesis is not going to work because it says it's 90 minutes, and there's a lot of people that are doing what we're trying to do and hop in line right before park close. Okay, but look at this cool queue. Our experiment didn't work. No, I think it was just... I think it was a fluke last night. When yeah, whoever went like, on that. Some nights are just busier than other, other people had the same idea, so. We hopped in line and we realized very quickly, we were still like, we were maybe 15 feet past the standby entrance. So we were like, at best this is a 50 minute wait if the, if, if the queue was all tied up and not expanded. Easily 50 minutes or so. We're gonna do Navi River Drink. It's only 10 minutes. You've done it three times. I've done it twice since we moved here. And we get to actually enjoy the, the standby queue. Which is Last time pretty I fancy. It is bloody gorgeous in all, right? It is, it is. I, I think this is my favorite Disney thing of any park right here. Really? I'm like nervous. It was less than 10 minutes. It was less than 10 minutes and we realized not only have I only been on this twice, the last time I went on it was probably September. Yeah. Because we went on it like boom, boom, like right after we moved here first and we got classes. And then we shortly after. Right. I know, I feel like I haven't given that ride enough love because of like, I was kind of lacklustered after the first time I went on it. 
But it is a gorgeous ride, and I love the music at the end. I think that we might have slowed it down a little bit because it didn't feel as fast. Yeah, I literally felt like, like it was like 45 seconds long, and I recorded that whole thing. I don't know if what how that's gonna go into the vlog. But it was longer. <laughs> but it was, but it was longer. It's about almost four minutes. And we noticed more things that we've never seen before. The cool butterflies, see those? The butterflies and the like centipedes. And I like like the butterflies weren't projection, but the centipedes were projection. Yeah. They're just it was it's really cool. Mix. Yeah, I would. I still I like wouldn't it wait when you more don't than. Wait. I yeah. wouldn't wait more than 45 minutes for like that'd be absolute I max. Only wait like half hour and yeah, but it's the music is so good too. The music is great, and then any animatronic at the end like is mind blowing. Yeah. This is the mysterious spot of the Animal Kingdom parking lot that no one likes to talk about. The land of nomad buses, Best Westham, Wyndham Hilton by Palace, Hilton by B Resort, Hilton in DoubleTree. That one's called Seaside. That car's mad. Where's our car? Oh, we passed it. Here's our car. This, this is the presidential parking. We've got literally the first spot we could get next to the buses. We're back home. Gonna try to watch some more Riverdale, but uh, typically one of us falls asleep as Sarah yawns really big. I'm super jealous of how Eve snuggles with Eve on the couch. Eve snuggles with me. Eve snuggles with Sarah on the couch like this. She does not do that with me. She doesn't really stay here for long, but it's... But it's enjoyable while she tries. Yeah. Peter won't watch Sarah's unfortunate events. I just... I don't know. I don't I know. I start over. Riverdale. Riverdale it is. Um, I already forgot we had these in the pantry. Eve's taking to the pina colada ones. Sarah's taking care of those cherry coke ones. All I'm saying is like it's not very nice of Katie and Dustin to give us these cookies when we're over here trying to like, you know, eat healthy, run, train for dopey. But we got a bunch of Oreos in our pantry. I can't not eat them though. Oh, Eve likes the kettle corn. Sarah's Jones are for some Mickey D's right now, but. Oh, just what if we went there and just got like two large French fries and two large cokes? It's like four fifty. The the problem is literally there is one on our corner. She's come to say good night. She has not let us watch the Riverdale in peace because she's so tired, and we and have a princess. She wants treats. She wants treats, and she's a princess, and she wants to go into the bedroom and lay on the blankets next to our bed. That's where Eve sleeps. And in the morning I pick her up and I snuggle her. It was a fun night. It was a quick one at Animal Kingdom, but we did a lot for... We were only there for an hour and a half. Yeah, that's great. We did what? What did we do? One, Everest, two, dinosaur, three, safari, four, four attractions. Solid! Maybe Solid. Eve will go to Animal Kingdom one day. One day. All right, we gotta go to bed. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. I don't know yeah. if we've said that yet. Yeah, we mentioned that you were going to like do your new patient stuff, so. We'll figure it out. What, she's looking like, please, let's go to bed. <laughs> it's please. good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh. Eve said it's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>